Why build from scratch? Kit bash your way to rapid world building with Unreal Engine. This video is part of our Unreal Engine full course. Subscribe and check the playlist for more tutorials. I hope you are satisfied with your work so far. Adding water has somewhat ruined our landscape, especially in the foreground, but there's no need to worry about it. There are many other methods of creating our landscape that we can explore. In the foreground, we are introducing 3D kit bashing. Kit bashing involves taking parts from different 3D objects and combining them to create new models or environments. This efficient method fosters creativity, allowing quick assembly of detailed scenes. For example, you can combine wings, bodies, and thrusters from various spaceship models to create a new spaceship. This saves time and encourages innovative designs. For instance, in a forest scene, you can mix trees, rocks, and plants from different asset packs to create a realistic environment. Overall, kit bashing leverages existing assets to boost productivity and facilitate the creation of intricate, visually stunning environments. Let's integrate it into our project. If I go to the Quixel Megascans library, I already selected some rocks I want to use for kit bashing. Remember, when you build a 3D model, you start with large details and then move on to medium and small details. For example, if I select this, just look at the size over here and how large this object is. Considering the size is very important. This rock is about the size of a human, but the other one is about the size of a building. Start placing the larger ones first and then working on the minor details. Let's send everything inside Unreal Engine for our project. I already downloaded them and will just send them to the project. Now that we have sent everything inside the engine, I can access my Megascans 3D assets inside newly created folders. If I select the folders and activate the static meshes filter, I can see them in one place and bring them inside the scene. Let's clean up the outliner again in folders. Now take a look at what we brought inside Unreal Engine. Let's hide other things so that we can focus on the rocks and our lighting. We have a huge rock here and a few smaller ones. Let's arrange them from large to small and remember that we will use nanite quality for each item. We are going to use these assets to build our environment. Let's return to the landscape and I will start building my project. I start with the most significant part and then place the largest assets according to my view. I want to start by rebuilding what we lost while adding a water lake to the landscape. Something like that will work fine for us. Remember, you can always select your camera to see the view and pilot it to find an angle that works. After adjusting the camera, I can exit. If I want to see the camera preview while I'm making my scene, I can pin the preview here and lock it. As I build the scene, I can see the effect of my changes inside the camera. For instance, at this moment, I am making my foreground with kit bashing elements that I brought in. We are addressing the foreground by creatively repurposing assets to fill all the gaps. As you may recall from the previous lesson, the backside of the objects does not cast shadows. To avoid lighting issues later on, complete what you create from each angle. This will help us avoid problems when we change the direction of the light. Please note that the Arc Vault tool we activated in this project's first lesson is a lifesaver since we can freely orient our assets regardless of the axis. I am moving away from the foreground and adding more details to the midground. I moved to the background and tried adding more detail to the mountains I made in the previous lesson with my landscape tool. The goal here is to add more detail and break the skyline. Remember that you can always go back to landscape mode to adjust the landscape to fit your newly added objects. I also went to the paint section of landscape tools and painted a layer of landscape closer to my rocks around the edges so I could blend the rocks with the landscape. After adding large details, it is time to use our medium-sized details, so I used some of the smaller pieces I brought to address my scene. Lastly, it is time to add small details. I think we are in good shape. We've covered the basics of 3D kit bashing, 
and how to start building our environment with large, medium and small details. In the next lesson, we'll add more details.